Okay, I've got a fuel pump assembly here from a 2020 Ford F-250. It's uh, been presenting a problem uh, almost initially uh, right away. It's only been, it got a couple thousand miles on it, the truck. But it started giving a, presenting an extended start when it would sit overnight. You know, you go to crank it and it would just crank, the motor would turn over and turn over and it wouldn't fire as if it were out of fuel, but it wouldn't be out of fuel. So um, we suspected it was an issue with this uh, check valve inside the uh, fuel pump assembly. And so we replaced it and sure enough, you know, so far the truck's been cranking perfectly like it should. So uh, we've got the old pump here or the, the old pump that's really not very old at all. And so I want to do some testing on it and see, you know, what, what it looks like, what the problem exactly really is. And, uh, so, and so while I'm doing it, I'm also going to be getting some more information. I've got an amp meter here. I'm going to be measuring the current draw and, uh, I've got the pin out here of the, uh, connector. I'm a, I'll share that with you in the drawing, uh, that shows the pin out. <laughs> but in my case, I went ahead and cut the wiring to the pump and spliced in directly because I didn't want to have any chance of a spark anywhere near this open container of fuel. So I've got the fuel pump sitting in a stainless steel pan here and the return is coming right back into the pan. So my plan is uh, I'll turn on the pump, I'm going to let it run with the ball valve open, I'm going to let it circulate the fuel until there's no air in this line at all, and then once I see that it's clear of air and we're just pumping fuel, then I'll shut the, the valve off and uh, watch the, the pressure build. I, I've got a zero to 60 PSI and I hope, hope 60 is enough to cover it. I'm not sure it may not be, but um, it'll get close maybe. Um, and so once I shut the ball valve off, I'll turn off the pump and I'll watch the pressure gauge and see uh, how long it takes for it to drop down and how far it actually goes, if it drops at all. But I'm expecting the uh, pressure to drop and I'm not sure how much pressure this check valve can contain. And I'm also going to give you a close view of the pump after the test so you can kind of see what, you know, know what to expect when you pop it open. It looks like most any other fuel pump that you, in a late model vehicle to me. And so I'll get started. I'm going to pour some fuel in here and get started with the testing. So I've got some fuel and I'm going to go ahead and also uh, give you a closer look at it. I'm going to move the camera up so you can see. I want to be able to record these gauges properly. And I'm also going to wear a face mask. I'm hoping my... Let's see. We want this on. Hoping my hoses can handle this pressure. So I'm going to go ahead and power up the pump right now. The 12 volt. I can hear it running. And it looks like my uh, current is about 4.3 amps. Not registering any uh, any pressure yet. I'm seeing air bubbles. I'm going to wait for those air bubbles to clear and just let the pump clear the air out first. Pretty quiet pump. Show you the fuel. I don't want to get the gas on my hands, but there's the fuel coming out. Luckily, it's not super high pressure because it's such a, a large amount of flow. So I'm going to go back up here to make sure we're looking at these gauges. That's the important thing I want to know. Well, I'm still seeing air bubbles.
I'm wondering if the pump is running so fast it's not, uh, that it's actually starving itself. So I can try to put some right down in the motor here. I believe that's it, is when I put that in there. All right, I'm going to go ahead and do the test now before it runs out of fuel again. We're building about 60. And I just shut the power. And so you can see, uh, hopefully, my hopefully my uh, hose is going to hold. It's... Uh, doesn't appear to be rated for 60 PSI, but it looks like it's just barely hanging on there. If I can get rid of this now since I'm not gonna power it anymore. And so you can see my gauge is holding fairly well. It's uh, about 45 now. So now it's just a waiting game. Just gonna keep an eye on that gauge. And I really, really hope this holds <laughs> because if it pops, then I have to redo the whole test. So here's a close-up view of the fuel pump assembly off the Ford F-250. This is the four-pin connector. I'll be showing you a pin out of that. And this is the um, evaporative uh, emissions pressure transducer. You can see underside here. That's uh, that green grommet is the seal for it. And this is the only output, uh, the high pressure output of the fuel and the fuel pump. And so down to here is the, the actual pump itself. And uh, over here we have the fuel level sender. It's basically a resistor, a potentiometer. And I'll provide the readouts of uh, what you'd expect to read open and full or full and empty, I mean. And over here is what I think might be the issue is, I believe this is a check valve. I'm gonna look up the part number and see if I can uh, find any information on it. But we're already, it's only been uh, about a half an hour and the level has dropped to zero. And so I'm not real sure what to think about that because uh, the truck starts fine uh, the rest of the day and so, you know, after 30 minutes, you're back at zero, so you'd expect it to be an issue. Unless maybe uh, more, this fuel in this line actually bleeds out uh, and somehow gets air in it. And that's what I suspect may be happening. I'm not sure. But what I want to do, since right now I've got a closed system, where uh, I'm going to go ahead and open this line up here and let air in if, if it wants to come in. And so what I'll do is... Uh, See if, by opening the line, I'll see if this uh, check valve is capable of holding anything at all. Because uh, I'm wondering if maybe uh, the fuel injectors, maybe, you know, they're designed to hold back fuel and, and meter it. But I'm wondering if they are, if they're susceptible to allowing air to enter, you know, and, and flow backwards, maybe by design. I, I really don't know. If someone out there knows about that, I'd be interested to find out but um i have some injectors i guess i could test that but for now the only thing i know to do is to see if this can hold back any level of fuel at all because i'm already at zero and it's only been 30 minutes so i really don't know what else i could uh learn from this other than to disconnect this open the valve and see if the fuel actually runs all the way out of the system so i'll do that now so what i'm going to do i'm just going to cut it right here And now when I open this valve, well, I can already see air is flowing up. You can see air bubbles flowing up. And so I want to see, uh, it might be expected to do on this leg, but I want to see over time if it actually comes down into this leg here. So I'll just be taking a look at that. Uh, I'll give it some time and see what happens. 
So I've let the fuel pump sit overnight and the fuel has drained all the way back down to this point right here. And it may continue to drain further as the temperature drops. It appears this uh, check valve here is not able to hold the, uh, the fuel in the line because the pump appears to work fine. It, it can build pressure quickly to 60 PSI and has no problem once it starts running. So it appears that the issue is this part of the assembly right here. So it's the end of the day, about uh, 24 hours has passed since the pump has run and you can see the fuel level has uh, gotten down to this point here. And I imagine uh, in another day, it'll be all the way out, totally out of fuel altogether.